What's going on everybody and welcome to how I clean and to my kitchen. Let's see. Welcome to my kitchen, baby. Welcome to my kitchen. That is the kitchen, boys. Starting off with the room tour of my kitchen. Now, it's very pretty cool. First, first, how I clean it is, it's a, it's a different way of how people do Kitchen always has to be great, okay? And they're typically dirty. So what I do is I typically just brush down and I typically just get down deep and I start windexing some stuff. So I'm getting down there deep and I start cleaning up. So believe me, it gets disgusting down there. It gets pretty disgusting down there at some points. So that's why I typically, regularly after cooking videos, I typically start cleaning them up. There's some cucumbers on the floor, and there's, it gets pretty dang disgusting. But that's why you should always clean your kitchen right up right after a cooking video or whatever you're cooking. You don't have to be cooking a video just to have to clean up your kitchen. In general, you really should clean up your kitchen. Bacteria can get on your food and they can actually ruin up your food and make you sick. So you should always have a clean kitchen for cooking. You never really know what you could find down there. That's what I do regularly. I clean up the kitchen. And you should always put down your cooking equipment. There's my board and there's my, some of my knives and knives. So that's what happens. They dry and then they're ready to be put away. I'm also, guys, I'm also planning on getting some new equipment, like a sharper board or something like that. A more sharper board for cooking. And then when you're done, not that bad. I mean, all you do is you just down. Then you're done. Very simple one. It only takes you about. About 10 minutes just to do it really quickly. You don't have to do it fast. But just Windex, just Windex for a minute. And you're done. It's as simple as that. All I do is I just get up. And when I clean all my equipment up, I just start Windexing. Also, you should never clean up Windex by food. It could get into the food and kill you. Or severely harm you. But that's very rare. But I typically clean up my cooking area, because that's the area of the most previous, is where all the main dishes are, is where all the activity sort of stands up. And I also just typically, regularly just clean up the kitchen. Not just for cooking, I literally just randomly cook up the kitchen. You never really know what it can look like. Okay, it just works really quickly, it doesn't take that much of your time. Takes you about a couple minutes of your time, and then boom, you're done. Doesn't take you that long. But that's really all you do. You just literally, it just takes about a couple minutes. You just a little bit of Windex out, water, whatever you're using. Clean up maybe some of your cabinets, whatever you want. And then boom, it's done. So it's just like, there you go. I'm done. Then your cushion looks good again. I also sometimes also clean up the drawer. It's really rare for me to do it, but if I really have to, I do. Since they get pretty disgusting, so I typically just do it every couple days or something. I didn't do it always, but right today I guess I'm just gonna do it since I'm doing it. So typically I don't do it on this day, but I guess I'm just gonna do it. By the way, happy Martin Luther King Day, guys. That's all. So now you're, you learn that your kitchen's now clean. And that's literally all you do. That's all, all you do. If you really want to, you don't have to do all the things that I just did. If you really want to, you can. That is the way people do it these days. No, 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 I, 
Finish up. Okay, what you do is you finish up whatever you're doing. You put your knife away. And put your sharpener away. Put the knife up there. And then there you go. You are done. With your entire kitchen. And then there you go, you're done. You also don't have to just cook up that. You can also just cook up. You can do, you can literally, all you have to do is you can just easily, very quickly, all you have to do is just clean up some part of your kitchen. And then there you go, your kitchen is finished up, cleaned up. And then there you go, everything's done. Let's just, everything's cleaned up. This is my kitchen, guys. Not the first table. But like, not that much, I mean. It doesn't take a lot just to clean up a kitchen. I'm, I know I'm talking a lot, but just saying, it's just, it's Something that you can do, you don't have to, but you really, really want your kitchen to look good for something, I would highly suggest it. Because it really does make a difference in your room and it just makes a better appearance. Well, you don't want the label disgusting kitchen or something. You don't have to have the thing, but still, I mean, you really know. That's it. I mean, it's really simple. All you do is just clean it up very quickly. I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot, but still, I typically hear everybody clean up the kitchen. I'm good. So it's clean up, you know? So I really clean it up. Make the metal shiny. And there you go, it's done. I'm done. So, see you guys soon for the next officially cooking video.